know nothing about it I turned my thinking on to make sure it's aligned with yours I'm obviously doubtful, how could anyone Turn my opinion around hardest thing sometimes as a creative is having this feeling of you have all this potential, all this built up potential inside you and it just hasn't been unlocked yet. You haven't had the right opportunities or the right brands come along or the right projects to really showcase um, your talent and all the skill that you have as a creative. You start looking at other creatives and you think, oh man, they're only 18 and they're doing amazing things or they're 30 years old and they're already winning Oscars, what the heck am I doing? And you start feeling this pressure like I should be the best that I can be at 20 or 30. That should be the peak of my career. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be ambitious when you're young. I think it's actually really good and I think it's dumb when people say you can't do something just because you're young. I think when you're young you actually have so little responsibilities and so much free time that you can actually do a lot when you're young and you just have a lot of energy to go out and do stuff. But the problem is that pressure that you're putting on yourself to be the best at, at age 20 or 30 or whatever that number is for you. And that pressure can be crippling. It can literally stop you dead in your tracks so that you're not even creating anything because you just feel like such a failure when you start comparing yourself to other people. And this brings me to this interesting thing I realized one day when I was reading a Humans of New York post. It was this girl who was, I think like a sketching artist or something and she was studying and she said in that little quote that she's aiming to peak at 50 years old. And that sparked something, I really liked that. And the reason why I liked that is it dropped all that pressure. All of a sudden, I started to think, yeah, like, I have a long career ahead of me. Why would I want to peak at 20 or 30 years old when I could aim to peak at 50? I think that's what she meant, was not taking that pressure to be the best ever at such a young age, but instead taking your time. Don't take that pressure on yourself and aim to peak at 50. The reason why I like that idea is that it gets rid of that pressure that I need to be somebody. I need to be somebody that's really good at something or somebody that has a lot of value or worth or a lot of money or whatever that is that you're thinking about. All that pressure starts to fall away when you realize that man, I'm gonna be working for the next like 30, 40 years. I have a lot of time to peak in whatever it is that I'm doing, whether it's photography or graphic design or filmmaking or whatever you're doing. You have a lot of time. Don't take that pressure that you need to be the best there is, that when you look on YouTube and Vimeo, all the top guys, that you need to be just like them at a really young age. That has nothing to do with it. And when you start putting that pressure on yourself, you will start feeling that crippling fear of just, what if I don't make it? What if I'm not that good? What if? I'm not that good at 20 or 30, am I a failure then? You have absolutely no rush to become a success. No rush at all. And there are no overnight success stories. There's just years and years and hours of hard work put in into the craft and then one day people just say, oh, you've made it. But you never feel it yourself. Learn, make, repeat, just keep doing that and you keep closing that gap and you keep getting better and better and, and you're better the next year than you were last year and you keep getting better and better and, and you keep getting closer to peaking. But aim to peak at 50 instead of 20 or 30 so you don't have that pressure. Instead of putting so much pressure on yourself, why don't you try to do something good with your time and effort instead of just trying to squeeze that success out of nothing basically. I just read a really interesting book called Hatching Twitter. It's probably one of my favorite books 
actually. And one of the things that really stuck out to me in that book was just the things they would do to accomplish that success. They would just do all these things that I bet you they would have never thought they would have done before. They would work 24-7 on these projects, they would betray their friends, they would oust them from the company, kick them off and not give them any credit. All this just weird stuff that I bet you they would have never thought they would do. But because they had that pressure to succeed, they felt like that's what I need to do in this moment. But I bet you if they would have changed their mindset that, hey, we don't need to peak right now at 20 or 30, we can peak at 50, they wouldn't have done all those things. They would have been a lot slower to betray their friends and do all those things. Stop stressing. You do not have to be the best in your area by the time you're 20 or 30. That's really unlikely and don't put that pressure on yourself because it'll actually slow you down the whole way. It'll just be this big weight that you have to drag along. There's more than enough success to go around for everybody. It's not a competition. Learn to be content with what you have and where you are in your career. Just learn to enjoy that process because the journey is the most important thing. Work hard, but enjoy life at the same time. Don't think that work is everything and your career is everything in life. So for all you aspiring filmmakers, learn to enjoy that journey. Enjoy the journey because that's really the best part. And one of the best ways to do that is to just free yourself from that pressure of you have to be the best, especially at such a young age. Then that crippling fear of not making it will start fading away and you'll start having that freedom to just do what you need to do and just make it happen. Try new stuff, try anything and learn while you're doing it. No pressure, just try things out because that pressure can be a crippling thing that stops your whole creative flow and just slows you down so much in your creative career. So guys, aim to peak at 50. Free yourself from that pressure. Guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.